Virginia Democrats rallying virtually ahead of the final night of the Democratic National Convention. So we've got a, a lot riding on us, but as others have said, we can't take anything for granted. Democrats from around the Commonwealth coming together and hoping to keep Virginia blue. Former Governor Terry McAuliffe has become a key Biden surrogate. It, it's been a great convention. It, at a time, people are hurting. They're looking for healing. They're looking for leadership. And you watch this convention, you know that's what Joe Biden is going to deliver. McAuliffe says the virtual convention has been different but effective. It's been riveting every night because of COVID and the shattered economy. People are really paying attention. And the former governor commenting on local issues, too. In an interview with News 3, he came to the defense of Portsmouth State Senator Luis Lucas. Lucas faces two felony charges because police say she was involved in the destruction of the city's Confederate monument in June. McAuliffe has created a petition in support of Lucas. To see these two arrest warrants, which makes absolutely no sense, we need to raise awareness. Uh, this can't go by without people standing up, standing on their side. Lucas has also been involved with McAuliffe's political action committee. That group has filed additional paperwork, laying the foundation for McAuliffe to run for governor again in 2021. But McAuliffe says no final decisions have been made. But this just a paperwork addition that we've done. I have said consistently I'll make a decision immediately after the presidential election. He says he's focused on November for now and is brushing off criticisms from Republicans that Joe Biden isn't up for the job. But he's at the top of his game. I mean, they're going to throw a lot of stuff. This is politics. And the politics will continue next week when the Republicans get their turn for a convention. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.